I'm uh, Alex Agorov. I'm the uh, CEO and the founder of Bit Rewards, and Bit Rewards is a rewards and loyalty platform for the online stores. Uh, online stores uh, install our software on the top of uh, their websites, and uh, it allows them to reward their users for their purchases and for the purchases of their friends with cryptocurrency. So, in essence, we like to say. Uh, that we allow for mining of cryptocurrency through purchases to the simple investors, uh, to, to the simple uh, users, sorry, to the purchases of the online stores. And not only uh, actually for purchases, uh, but uh, as well for different other configurable actions that are valuable for the merchant. It's like it could be shares and likes and other social actions. Uh, it could be uh, some uh, product reviews or maybe coupon uh, that uh, the merchant just put out on, uh, on some exhibitions or some forums or conferences. I'm saying that today we have a one very big fundamental problem between merchants and customers. Uh, because they are like really behavior, uh, their behavior towards each other is like enemies. They are arch enemies because customers, they don't care about the loyalty at all. They don't know loyalty. We, we, I don't want to be loyal to any brand. We want the best quality product at the lowest possible price and with the highest possible reward if we can do that. And particularly on the internet, the competition is just one click away. So you just like you're clicking and you you're changing the brand. You when you're buying the ticket, you don't care what airline you're uh, uh, like you're selecting, you're picking, yeah. yeah? Because uh, it's uh, what's uh, interesting for you is the time and the price, and uh, so that's why the uh, customers they 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 are not loyal. They want free stuff. They want free money. They want free lunch. Uh, and the merchants, they also need to be protected, that's why. And so you can't blame that for wanting to extract as much profit from each and every headcount as they can. And they use every kind of trick they can. Because like even Apple, who's considered to be the brand with the most loyal audience, like probably in the history of the world, but Apple is slowing down the older versions of their phones. My phone, my iPhone 7, which, is, which has got more computational power than probably entire NASA in 1980. It lags so freaking bad. It's like it's so slow that I want to throw it away. But that's what Apple wants me to do. So they're manipulating. But you know, it's, uh, and they got good reason for that. You can't blame that too. So that's why their, their interests and uh, their motivation uh, of the customers and merchants, it's direct opposite. Mm -hmm. Uh, and that's what actually what we at Bit Rewards. That's what we know how to make the customers and merchants friends again, uh, because we're giving something to the customers that they value a lot, which is cryptocurrency. It's a real liquid asset, besides which tends to go up in price because we know that like that cryptocurrencies in the recent history they are going up in price and probably they will continue. Uh, and uh, at the same time, we're giving to merchants something, some uh, really good tools and uh, some uh, solutions, how they can make the customers loyal. So how and in what proper way they can offer this incentive for the customers to become more loyal to them, uh, which means that they will buy more, buy more often and value this brand more. I'm uh, like still, I worked in banking and financial sector for more than 15 years. Mm -hmm. And I finished uh, my career more than five years ago now. As a uh, vice president, I was overseeing the international relations mm -hmm. in the National Reserve Bank. And uh, so I really think that I'm still a financial and a numbers guy. Mm -hmm. but. I was always infatuated by the technology and by application of different technologies to uh, different businesses. And uh, this is the, more, the most dynamic area of just like of the human development because the history actually of the human development, we as mankind develop with the technology. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's just like, uh, it's the most interesting area. And as we see uh, that financial institutions are becoming financial technologies. And uh, I started feeling it back then. 
And uh, I started feeling that uh, financial institutions, they don't develop in the, like the, the standard financial institutions, they don't develop in the way that they should because they are not adopting the technology and they will be disrupted. So that's why I started, yeah, I started up the, like I, I started investing into the uh, high tech companies, into the uh, internet, internet technologies. And uh, so gradually our product became, uh, it's, it's actually what we're doing and BitRewards on, is based on the product uh, that is a, a, actually a platform that allows to issue the, uh, uh, the codes, the, uh, like now it's crypto codes and it's encrypted into the blockchain. But uh, at the moment, our platform is in, in central way. It issues the promo codes or some, some different codes to which you can attach all the different events. And, they are, and these are, they are also the financial events mm -hmm. because they mean the, this crypto code, it contains the, the link to the discount, mm -hmm. uh, which uh, is stipulated by the certain amount of the purchase of the order mm -hmm. that the customer needs to make and it's also, it can be personalized. It can be attached to one particular customer and it can be attached to one particular brand or to many brands. And so in this way, it's the financial instrument because it's like, uh, what is a promo code or what is a gift card or digital gift card for that matter? It's the, uh, it's the promissory note of the brand. It's actually the brand's currency. So we've been in the business of the uh, branded currency and of digital currency for five years now. So that's why for us, like the blockchain is like, it's super natural and very organic development of our platform. What it uh, had been doing for a number of years now already. Yeah, so uh, yeah, so uh, that's why my, this a long question, uh, or like long rather answer to your question about why uh, like why is like you're a financial like a vice president of the bank how come that you are doing like something like bit rewards the rewards and loyalty platform uh, because uh, i think that it's a it's a financial technology and i was always trying to apply different financial instruments and financial tools to different businesses It's been uh, quite a few of different events going on and uh, we participated in several conferences. One was uh, uh, hosted by uh, Token Post, which was very nice and, uh, and good. And uh, we just generally, so I'm already uh, getting back here for the third time. I've never been to Korea for my whole life and it's already like in, in one month I'm for the third time here. Yeah, <laughs> which is, uh, well, pretty ironic. Uh, but Actually, so I like how, uh, how the people here are uh, treating cryptocurrencies and are in general, how they're very tech savvy and uh, how they're uh, accepting the technologies and adopting technologies. And uh, so that's why we're just like, we, we feel that it's, uh, it's a very important uh, uh, ground for us uh, to develop our project. And we actually were on our path actually to opening uh, here a subsidiary in Korea mm -hmm. uh, as well, the subsidiary of Bitrewards, Words. And we're speaking with uh, quite a few of different people. We haven't signed anything yet with the local partners, but we're speaking with quite a few of them, with uh, Blockchain Revolution partners. We met also with uh, Upbeat uh, company, uh, or, which is uh, like very impressive, which has got an impressive technology in particular with the uh, with stamps and uh, with uh, different virtual virtual uh, gifts, uh, the our like this, this is our domain. Is this is uh, actually some area we're also where we're also developing. So we've we've heard a lot of news about the, the uh, Korean legislation mm -hmm. developments, which uh, actually in the beginning of February it probably freaked uh, a lot of people out. Mm -hmm. But we see that the, 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 uh, the development and the repercussions of that are quite positive because the regulation, overall regulation of cryptocurrencies is becoming more uh, like more solid and more robust. So we actually welcome all the changes that lead to the uh, transparent to more transparent and the clearer uh, rules of the games and to the improvement of the rules.
so we've now at our pre-sale stage uh, we uh, we've collected 2.7 million dollars and uh, uh, the interesting fact is that it is from uh, more than 3,000 uh, different token buyers so it's like uh, it's really the uh, common people who are and uh, accepting our projects and supporting it very much for which we're a lot of, like we were appreciative uh, and uh, so there's 10% only left to closing of our soft cap, which is $3 million. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, quite a lot of time still left to our, for our pre-sale and to, for our main sale. Uh, and we've got a lot of talks with the different uh, interested investors, which we, we, we haven't announced anything yet, but uh, it's ensuing. We feel that we're going to be like exceeding three million quite a lot. Yeah, but we we don't want actually to exceed it a lot because it's now we're also offering some some of the bonuses. The bonuses are still there, so that's why our intention was to be like very benign on this at this stage in uh, in attraction of different investors and uh, in uh, like broad marketing. Uh, so well, that's why uh, we're not. Like we, we haven't exceeded it already by now because we, of course, we could have. Since our platform is uh, in the good shape of development, uh, usually all the ICOs, they, they're, they're like most of them, they're spending like 50 or like 45 to 50 percent on the technical development. Mm -hmm. In our case, we're allocating only about 25 to 30 percent mm -hmm. on the technical development, no more than that. And uh, the majority of the funds will go towards uh, the scaling uh, in the global markets. Uh, in our main markets of uh, uh, the presence, it will be the U.S. markets, of course, uh, Europe and Asia. You know, and one of the first destinations for us is, uh, is Korea, of course. And we actually, I forgot to mention that we, uh, we have about 30% of the backers of the token buyers we have from Korea. Wow. It's the, yeah, it, it's first or second among all the supporters. Wow. Yeah, so which is extremely exciting. And that I think that's because we're, we're present here. Mm. So that's why it's my third time here and I see the good results. And uh, so we definitely want to continue and we want to double down on our presence here. We have the, like we actually already now, we have I think four or five out of uh, more than 16 people who we have the, we have very strong advisory board who are supporting us in very uh, different uh, areas and like legal issues, uh, scaling in the global markets, big data processing and big data and enterprise integration. And we have uh, five advisors of uh, the entire team are from the United States. And uh, recently we've uh, had a new advisor who uh, joined us, joined our advisory team is uh, Nathan Christian. He's the editor of the uh, Cryptocurrency World magazine and uh, or I, I can be like, I, I can be mixing up the name, but uh, he's yeah. a very, like he's an extremely uh, uh, well-recognized and very reputable person for the, uh, the like, encrypted community. Mm -hmm. uh, and he, he's uh, top 10 blockchain people in the world now. Wow. Yeah, he's also one of the uh, highest rated experts uh, on the ICO bench, mm -hmm. where we're also having like very good ratings. The uh, crypto assets, which are becoming more and more popular now, I think that they're still in the uh, uh, on the in the very beginning of the development. They're, but we're on the verge of the tsunami, I think, uh, because like we also just for fun, we've done a uh, such an interesting uh, experiment or, or rather exercise. So we. Uh, imagined uh, that you would, for instance, invest $150 into Bitcoin. And uh, $150 is 5% of the $3,000, which is uh, like, it's a pretty high amount of expenditures for a household, but it's doable. 
Yeah, so just imagine that if you had uh, invested $150 uh, dollars a month into Bitcoin and started five years ago on the 1st of January of 2013, by now yeah. uh, you would have had uh, 47.5, I think, or 48 or something like that Bitcoins which means that uh, this is the amount of approximately half a million dollars already. Yeah, it's, it's mind blowing. So that's why I think that uh, the, uh, like this, these assets, uh, they're still underdeveloped because like very few people <laughs> did it like that. But those who did, they, they're, like, they're wealthy people. Uh, yes, and uh, so that's what we think we will, uh, we are providing to the customers. Uh, this opportunity to invest uh, like really frictionlessly into the cryptocurrency just by making the purchase. But like general about the cryptocurrencies, I also think that I mentioned that it's $150 a month. By now you will have uh, 47 or like 48 bitcoins, but it's without the interest rate because nobody is investing now in cryptocurrencies, for example, with interest rates. But it's the uh, it's one of the uh, very common your first interest uh, when you were uh, like your first interest your, your first intention is to get to know what amount of the interest you're going to get if you're investing into the security into securities right into to traditional securities or bonds or uh, like promissory notes you are saying like what's the interest rate you're not saying that about Bitcoin about, or about uh, like other cryptocurrencies. I think that, that this is bound to change mm -hmm. as well. Starting from probably this year, you will be able to invest and to receive some interest rates as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, because there are very few derivatives now in comparison to the traditional markets about cryptocurrencies, but there are now they start emerging. Mm -hmm. And uh, as well, what I think uh, is that we, we have barely scratched the surface with just with blockchain technology because uh, it's just it hasn't penetrated yet the uh, various domains of our daily lives uh, maybe financial sector is a little bit better and we see now the uh, like the very concrete uh, application of this technology in financial sector but even there it, it's still in the tested modes and uh, a lot of that are uh, like ex experiments that are still uh, that still need to be like confirmed and need to be tested, well tested. But uh, like what what I'm thinking is that blockchain is developing rapidly, like super rapidly. Now you now you already see that uh, that uh, Bitcoin as well is showing like better and better results in the uh, like in remittances and uh, in the in the payments. And the entire technology is developing uh, for the better mm -hmm. and developing a lot. Yes. It, it's becoming more powerful, it's becoming smoother. We can make more transactions mm -hmm. uh, using different blockchains and they're now competing with each other mm -hmm. uh, about the efficiency and about the things that you can do on the blockchains. So I'm extremely positive about the blockchain technology, uh, but about the assets, uh, it remains to be seen. How, this, how the crypto assets will be inscribed into the, uh, uh, the like standard financial uh, system and standard uh, financial tools, uh, it, we, will, we will see a lot of uh, interesting developments. So you just uh, can go to our website, uh, bitrewards.network uh, and uh, like there's everything, it's very detailed, we have a very detailed analysis on our website uh, and information about what we're doing. We have a very uh, detailed also white paper uh, which has got some technicalities and everything that's, uh, so that you need, to, uh, you need to understand better about the product and now there are still uh, some of the uh, like need bonuses uh, that you can actually uh, use towards your purchase. And you can do everything from our website. I enjoy uh, being in Korea. I like the people a lot. 
because I, I think that we got like we uh, like between our nation like Russians and Koreans I think that we have a lot of uh, similarities mm -hmm. and uh, like spiritually that's what I feel yeah and it's actually like yeah and it's exciting it's exciting to be here and um, I like that uh, a lot of uh, from the people here I see a lot of thoughtfulness uh, and uh, that's really like thoughtfulness uh, towards the other people and towards different like details and towards the different domains of of life.